What's up guys, the Ducks shoes will be available today, July 12th, only on the Ducks Waterfowl app. I will link both Android and iOS versions of the app down in the description. If you want to ensure that you grab a pair of these shoes before they are all gone, you need to download the app and do it today. All of the shoes could sell out July 14th, that's the day that they'll hit the website. No matter what, wherever you buy them, use code BOB at checkout to save yourself some money. Yeah! What up y'all? And welcome back to another one. Starting off at the Cosmosphere, uh, one of the few rooftops that I do. And today, uh, I'm gonna start a uh, daily series, if you will, to where you guys are with me every day that I'm trapping and basically just go day by day by day through the weather, uh, how many we trap. So these videos won't be just one day trapping and that's it. You get what I'm saying? So I hope you like them. Uh, we're kicking it off with today. We have to move uh, one of our traps off of this roof to another one. So I got to get it down and uh, getting it down kind of easier said than done. I'm going to try to use my carabiner and my paracord. I think I have 50 or 100 foot of paracord. I'll have to check. <sighs> yeah, we're up here. Got to get the other trap down and I necessarily don't want to go through the Cosmosphere. There's a lot of tourism and guests right now and I don't want to be carrying a pigeon trap through there. A nasty, stinky, poopy pigeon trap. So what I'm thinking, like I said, I have my paracord. I think I have 50 foot, which this end, I think if I just do a loop maneuver, I can like let it off the end and not have to clip it. And then get what I'm saying? If I clip this to the trap, I'm gonna have to go down this ladder outside, uh, unhook it, get my rope, come back up. I think we're gonna, we're gonna make something out of this. Let's check the trap. Looks like we've got three. I don't think any of them are special. Check it out here. Three. So today as well, um, I'm gonna start using bait birds more. Uh, a lot of you know what that is and that's basically um, checking it very, very, very often. Always keeping food and water in the trap at all times, but keeping one or two birds in a trap at all times, pretty much. Basically, it helps trap more birds. It helps entice more birds to go in there. So I think that's what we're gonna do. I'll probably take out one of these guys and leave that young one over there. He's got some cool red on his wings. And then I'll leave uh, one over here but we got a rebait. Yeah, we got a rebait. Looks like they're still full on water. Here's my other trap. I think I left it right up here. There you are. So this is where we had it. Yes, it caught birds. No, I do not like climbing over this wall. I hate it. I absolutely hate going on top here. As you can tell, these are, yeah, I, I don't like that. So I think we only honestly need, at this point in the game, uh, one trap up here. So that's what we're gonna do. Good thing about these ladders is that they're like tilted forward a little bit. So you kinda, you can lean on them. They're not straight up and down. So what I'm thinking, we are going to, Go right here and drop her right down there. Yes. Gonna try to land her. Not physically all the way drop, but drop it with the rope. Try to land her right there in the grass. Let's see how that works out. All right, so what we're gonna try to do, which I hope works, I'm gonna take the carabiner in and I'm gonna slip it just through here. I'm not gonna latch it, like I said. I really hope this works. And I hope I don't run, I hope I have enough paracord to get it to the ground, or I'm gonna have to drop it. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna hold both 
let it down, let it down, let it down, let it down, and then it's gonna slide off this end. Hopefully that works in theory. There's a bunch of traffic. <laughs> They're gonna wonder what I'm doing. We gotta get her done though. All right, so just let one end out like so. Look at that! You would have thought I was smart or something. Oh boy, come on. That actually, oh, we're stuck. We're stuck, go! Son of a gun. It got stuck. Dad, gum it. Really? All right, that was failed attempt number one. Give her another go. Come on, baby. Come on, don't get stuck. Go over the wall. There we go. Now we're cooking with peanut oil. Yes! We got it. That was awesome. Two tries. I thought it was going to take ten. <sighs> completely forgot to pick up the trap off of the grass after I lowered it down. My brain is just scattered today, um, I guess for good reason. As a lot of you uh, long-term subscribers probably know, uh, last year I bought a big tri-tune, a pontoon boat. Well, I took it out last weekend and I broke it. Basically, long, long story short, uh, I was pulling Harper Land, my daughter, on the tube and started pulling the tube underwater. I was like, jump, jump. I panicked and slapped the throttle lever back too fast and went forward to end a reverse too fast and I messed up the lower unit. So I've been on the phone literally all day, all morning, trying to find an outboard Suzuki manufacturer, service, distributor, dealer, that can get it in, in a timely manner. Yeah, it's been a struggle. Boat service, any type of service seems like it's a struggle. Look at that, we got three of them. I'm not seeing anything special. That's crazy, three in the other trap, three in this trap. Yep. I think I'm gonna leave three bait birds in there. I think it'll help. Uh, haven't let these traps sit. I don't know, more than, an, it's only been two days, I think, so. Rebate them. Uh, this is what I've opted to do. Yeah, the top is cracked on that water feeder. So I'm just using the base for now, keeping it full. It's been raining every single night and I think it's supposed to for a while here. I think I'm gonna have to literally order one off of this brand of trap off their website. If you guys think of something better, maybe I'll just use a bigger bowl. Problem is, is they're, they're gonna get in there and walk in it now. You know what I mean? They're gonna get in here and they're gonna walk all in their water bowl. This being in there stops them from doing that. Just keeps their water that much cleaner. Whew. Well, it's probably a week and a half later after y'all seen me last. Um, the bait birds, it got too hot. I came and I just yanked the bait birds out. I got them out. Uh, but now it's cloudy cooled off a high of like 75 today absolutely gorgeous and it's been a couple days three days since uh, we've checked the traps sure enough kind of what I figured first one only two birds so what I'm thinking with it being cool we'll go ahead and try to use the bait bird theory again now that it's cool we have like another two days of it being pretty moderately mild <laughs> weather and not 104 so we're gonna run this uh two birds nothing special both young uh the pigeon trap is kind of slowed down i don't know if it's because um now we're in the hot hot heat and now the birds are actually going out to feed in fields and not on rooftops i don't know drop a comment down below and let me know what you think <sighs> usual out of breath. Do we have anything? Man, see that's, that right there is what I mean. Darn. Darn, darn, darn. I gotta get a new water feeder. Nothing. What in the world? 
Huh. That's weird. Looks like birds have been in there too. Lots of feathers in there. Like no. A lot of corn's been ate. Be darn. There's still corn all on the rooftop. See that tells me there's been there has not been many pigeons, <coughs> excuse me, there has not been very many pigeons hitting the traps now. And I don't understand why. I think they're all flying out of town getting their food, but we're gonna rebait it, reset it, keep her going. Well, we're up here. It's been a minute. It's been a minute since I filmed up here. I've just been checking uh, the trap constantly, bringing the camera and man we haven't had good luck it's just been one here two there but today is uh the second day after fourth of july yeah and uh good luck looking up this is nice here we go so let's see what we got in here i haven't checked him out yet one two he looks really cool hmm three four five six seven what are you, are you? BA looking dude. He's an older bird. Wow, he's huge. Uh, I don't see any other anything else that's special. So I'm gonna go ahead and bait this. Everything is blue bar except for two checks. But that guy right there we're gonna take a look at. Alright. This guy right here is special, which I don't know. He's feral. He's just old he's a very old bird he is huge one of the biggest birds i've trapped look at this dude wow um i hope you guys can see his eyes see the white on his nose his eyes have really small dark pupils um definitely not a homer i was thinking he might be no band awesome pearl colors around his neck big gullet and just huge wings that is a huge adult mature very mature feral pigeon that's cool like i said everything else is just yeah they're all really really young every single one of them uh feral birds so uh -huh. Uh -huh. oh look at that oh geez what look at this y'all <laughs> one bird in this trap i can already see it and it is a really good looking bird still waiting to trap a homer i don't think it is i think it's feral you have a band on your leg dude it looks like a feral bird but nope no band look at him though holy cow no way one bird and it's him so, um, what has, no, it was on the last video, the last trapping video I put up. Um, this is where, this trap is where we caught a red one, a light red one, and then a piebald, piebald one, and a bunch of white uh, flight feathered ones. This one, very, very, very adult bird, huge, enough blab, and let's just take a gander at him here. That is crazy, this trap, he is huge, man. Holy cow, it's just an absolute monster of a bird. White flights, old bird, check out the eye. Big gullet, awesome white on his back, look at that. Got a little white ring around his neck. He is, look at his back, he's got like that white, middle bar like a white strap awesome huge bird holy cow but i went and robbed the mini water um, out of the trap that i'm currently not using um, i need to go get it on the new spot i keep putting it off i need to get a ladder these are not my ladders there's two over here uh, but this is again the bad thing uh, about this rooftop. The one thing is I don't have a water source up here, so I got to bring my own It's just kind of it's easy to forget a lot of times if you do forget it You got to run downstairs to the bathroom and use 
their bathroom for water. Uh, well, welcome, welcome back. Uh, for you guys, it hasn't been very long for me. Quite a while. So, uh, I hope you like the extended version of these uh, trapping videos, like this one. Uh, basically, after today, who knows what will be in the traps. Uh, I think that we'll have pretty good luck. My loft is completely full, especially after today. I, I made a modification, or five, <laughs> uh, to fit some more pigeons, give them some, some more comfort. Um, but she's full as of today. I mean, we could probably take another 10 home today. Hopefully we do. Uh, but she is just stuffed. First off, I'll show you uh, the loft when we get back home. Second off, you got to let me know down in the comments if you like these extended trapping videos. I think that they're a lot better showing you the process. Just like today, I, I brought some different food uh, for the birds. I want to see if it really works, especially on top of the Cosmosphere because it's got a great wind block. And I don't use this type of food because it's so light and it blows around. So. What are we going to do with all these pigeons in my loft? And we will go back and see them. Good question. Um, I think I have decided to use them for uh, my own dog. So the new dog that I got, a lot of you have seen that video. Uh, I show the new dog. I describe why we have to retire Frederick. Uh, but, hi Fred. Uh, I explained it all. And uh, this is a 15 month uh, year old lab that I bought who is extremely trained very well on a whistle uh, But he needs some pigeon training. So yes, I'm gonna use my pigeons to train my dog You can put two and two together. I don't think uh, I'll probably incorporate that in a video But there's a lot of people that might get upset about it, but I, I don't know what to tell you That's where most trap pigeons go uh, are the dog trainers. If you didn't know, now you know. I just must be right. My theories must be right. I don't know what else it would be. The uh, trapping has definitely slowed way down uh, compared to a month ago, probably because it's so hot. Uh, they're not really needing the food. And they're probably getting a lot of their grains from the fresh cut wheat fields. So, this is what we got today. I'll show you the new food that I'm gonna try out. Only got one in there, that's it. You were hungry, little fella. You ate most of the food. So, just one. One black chick. Here's the new food that I want to try. A lot of you guys have uh, commented and said, dude, you need to put some of this out there. Check it out. It is a uh, sunflower seeds, corn, cracked corn, milo, and something else in it. Basically, I just went and bought a basic bird feed and combined it with some whole corn and some cracked corn. So I'm going to put it in the trap, get him uh, rewatered, load him up, and get out of here. All right. Yeah, it's normal. Puffing and puffing. It's getting warm out. Oh, easy. Yeah, I figured. Yeah. That's why it's going to be the last day of trapping on this video. Just nothing. Not uh, lots of bait. Maybe too much. Some might say I overbait. <laughs> well, we didn't hit the jackpot today, boys. Only one lonely chick. It's really slowed down. Um, I don't think it's gonna pick back up. I really don't. But I do have one option, and that is my new spot that we haven't went to yet. So those pigeons haven't been messed with in a long time. And. I went and pulled my other trap off of the Cosmosphere. So, I just got to get a new water for it. So, that's about the only luck I have for trapping more pigeons this summer because I think on the two spots that I'm on, kind of need to just give it a break. Pull the traps, keep some bait out there. I don't know, you tell me. But, like you've seen at the beginning of the video, yes, we're headed back to the loft in one second. I'll show you all the birds and what I did. Just like you've seen at the beginning of the video, the duck's shoes. Shoes! Come on, buddy. Boom! These bad boys are so comfy. They come in the gray and the old school camo versions. My old school ones I have darn near completely wore out already because I love them so much. They are so comfortable. 
If you want to grab the duck shoes, they will be linked down below. If you use the app, they come out on July 12th. If you just want to get them off the website, July 14th. So you can get them two days earlier, which I would do it because they're probably going to go fast. I wouldn't doubt it. And every time you purchase anything from Ducks, Guggen, Bucks, always use code Bob at checkout so you can save some money. And every time you do it, it helps me out too. So I appreciate you guys so much doing that. But let's head back here to the loft. Come on, Fred, let's go. I'm glad it's slowing down because we are at max load um, <laughs> on the loft. We are maxed out. Um, I cut a hole in the middle of the loft um, to allow the pigeons to go back and forth so they they now go through this little hole right here I don't know if you can see it okay, better yet let me open her up hi guys yep we are full absolutely plum full it's crazy but with getting this hole in here I added more water I got three water sources now and I keep a lot, a bunch of food on the ground at all times. So I'm not gonna keep this many for very long. I'm actually taking a bunch of them to Missouri uh, where I'm actually getting the new dog. I'm gonna give to the trainer so he can train the dog with the, some of these birds, probably 20 of them, 25 of them, 30, for the next month and a half until I get the dog. So that's the story on the loft. She's full. They're comfortable though. They seem to enjoy it having all this new space and then getting to integrate back and forth it's really not too bad so trying to manage it keep them comfy keep it clean i'm constantly spraying it off with the hose spraying out all their poop shoveling it out cleaning it so they don't get sick so speaking of which it's just been so hot i have to change water every single day they love to get in the water bucket I hate it. They get in there and they poop. What is, please help me out down below, what is a better option? Something that they can't stand and poop in their water, in their drinking source, right? What do I buy to eliminate that? But I really appreciate you guys being here. Smash the thumbs up button if you like this video. Hit that notification bell down there. It'll notify you when I upload. We are back on normal schedule. Every other day uploads at least three a week. Pigeon hunting, more of coming. Dove hunting's right around the corner. Honkers is right around the corner. Uh, I'm doing an addition, lodge number two, construction videos. I bought a pit blind from South Dakota. I gotta get it here. Lots happening in the next few weeks, guys. Just be ready for it. Oh, and I still haven't showed you guys a new duck boat. But thank y'all, until next time. Yeah, got a girl that keeps it real. And it's all I need to know and all you need to know, babe. Since you've been gone, I've been getting